Hello again, this is the Back End Handyman, here with a video on how to install a tire on a wheelchair. This is the tire that we're working with here. As you can see, there's some cracks, and there's a big old chunk of it missing right there. Now, when I went ahead and took it off, I just used a screwdriver because I'm not really too worried about exactly what's going to happen to the tire that I'm taking off there. As you see, it just pulls off. Now you gotta get the wires out of there because there's wires at the bottom of the tire. Those are what keep it onto the plastic rim. Now as you see me point towards the inside there, you wanna go ahead and try to take it off away from the guard rail, just to avoid any kind of binding or that guard rail getting in the way. If you notice, the tire is off the wheelchair, so of course, that's a given. Now look at this. Here's the tire. You can see the size on the tire itself. It's a 24 by 1. And it is a hard rubber tire. So that's a good tire. This is the new one we got. I ordered it off of eBay. It, I had to put both of them on. This one was after I did the first one. I wanted to know how to do it. And I thought it was weird when I was doing the first one. Because as you can see here. The rubber don't actually fit down in the groove there. It seems like it's about an eighth inch too wide. See? It's, it's, I don't really understand why it has to be so tight, but you'll see as we go through exactly how to get it to fit down in that groove. Now, when you stretch it around the uh, rim, it actually shrinks that inside. Now, this is just a Dawn dish soap and water mixture. I spray it all over the rim. The other videos that I watched on how to do this, they said not to use lubricants because the lubricants never really wipe off, like 10W40 or any kind of lubricant for that matter, oils, things like that. But I'll go ahead and put it on here. I squirt down the tire really good. And honestly, I don't really know if squirting it so much really helped me too much, but I think it helped at least a little. So here we go. We go ahead and the zip ties are a very important part. I couldn't have done it without these. And you got to have really strong ones because there is a lot of tension on it. You zip tie one on there as good as you can get it. You can see it's still not down in the groove. But that's okay. We'll work on that later. Now I go over as many spokes as I can and go ahead and put another zip tie on it and try to get it down as close to the groove as I can. Now, as you can see, I got clamps here. I didn't buy the specialty tool because, of course, I'm cheap, and I thought, well, heck, I can do it. Also, I didn't know there was a specialty tool. So I go ahead and take this clamp, and I go ahead and pull it as far as I possibly can with the clamp. And I hook both sides of the pads of the clamp on the back side of the rim so it don't fall off while I'm doing this. I got a couple pry bars there, too, and I go ahead and pry it up on there. And I slide it over onto the actual rim. Now when you get it to where you want it. See I, I had to use two pry bars. Uh, two pry bars is a given. You get one in and you pry it on there and you get the other one. You have to be careful when you're doing this. Because if you're not watching it you let go of one of them. That's a big rubber band you're pulling on right there. So. The bar, the pry bar, will actually flip up and hit you in the face, and it freaking hurts. Trust me, I know from experience. But I got it far enough, I could go ahead and put another zip tie on it. And also with these zip ties, if you can get it to where you can move it over a little bit, you can slide it and keep going with it. Now this other clamp that I used here, I actually used it to pull it up. I, it turned out that the other clamp didn't really help as much as I thought it would, but I went ahead and got it close enough I could go ahead and start prying on it again. Here we go with the pry bar again. Dun, dun, dun. Big old rubber band. Make sure you keep a hold of that or it's going to fly up and whop and hit you upside the head. I got the other one on there, and you can see that I'm really trying to hold that one. Now, as I was doing this, I noticed that the tire would like to turn. Uh, when it turns, it I didn't get either one on perfectly flat with the rim, so therefore I had to come up with the method of term, turning it 
after it got on the rim. After I got both of them on there, see how I kind of used one pry bar to kind of get it up on there to where it turned back flat. That's how I did that. And then I'll just go ahead and pull it zip tie, get it really tight. And then I'll take this clamp off here. It really wasn't helping as much as I thought it would. But, oh, you see I changed the clothes. I was sweating like a stuffed pig in summer. But here we go again. Make sure you keep a hold of that. Boy, if you let go, that damn thing hurts. All right, now feed through the zip tie. Notice my bald spot. I forgot to shave my head. I'm losing a lot of hair. My oldest one likes to tell me all about it every day. Well, let's get back to it here. Now, as you can see, I push it on there. I go ahead and keep binding it on there. After you get it on there far enough, you can actually take that zip tie and slide it up onto the rubber a little bit further. But once you see, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get on there. And I'll go ahead and just get another zip tie. I said, screw that zip tie. I'll leave it where it's at. But if you get it up on there, it actually makes it to where you can slide the zip tie around and save some zip ties if you actually want to. Up till you get to the next spoke, of course. See, I slid that one there. And then this is towards the end. I already took the other clamp off. I guess I cut that part out. I apologize for that just trying to get this done this actually was a lot tougher than i thought it would be if you have the chance to get the tool get the tool now as you've seen there i have it around the outsides i still have that one pry bar stuck in there because i was thinking i could go ahead and slide it around to straighten the tire out but now what i'm doing is i'm taking off all the zip ties so i can actually work with the tire because the tire is actually sitting on the outside of the rim. But there are spots where it's kind of crooked. As long as it's on the outside of the rim, you no longer need the zip ties anymore. But see, I got the pry bar there, and then I'll bang it on the floor. Beat on it! That's how we do it. Damn tire won't go in it, but look at this. The tire snapped in there. Even after you get all that tension on there, you still have to smack it across the floor. Boom! Smack it. Beat that damn tire on there. It is such a pain in the butt. When I first got these tires and I put them on there, I thought, no way in heck that tire's going to fit inside that rim. I thought it was ridiculous. I got ripped off. But looky there. I finally got it to where the tire is pretty much on the rim. Now, there are still spots, I think where the tire was kind of turned and then I get the pry bar where it's turned you'll have a little bit of a gap you can fit that pry bar in there like I'm doing right now you can't really see because I'm an idiot and how I put the camera the uh, camera's kind of pointing at my boobs hope you like that but I get it on there and then I go ahead and I slide that bar around as you slide it around you hang on to it with your legs and you slide as you slide that bar it actually straightens the tire on there to where you can actually take it and just start beating on it again to where it'll go down inside the groove. That's where this uh, lubricant should help. Is When you go to beat it on there, you shouldn't have to beat it as hard. But there you go. See? It all fit down in there. Just slapping it on the ground. You don't want to beat it too hard because that is a plastic rim and you could break that rim. And watch out for that uh, guard thing there. Because you can bend that as well. Looky there. Time to put it on the wheelchair. Yay, I am screwing my bolt. And then you got the back nut. The bolt threads all the way through. But the nut you want to tighten on the back side to make sure it don't back off inside there. And look at my fat butt. I probably need one of these things here pretty soon. But look at there. I'm model on the wheelchair. Yay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe like and hit the bell.